Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to this week's episode of Canoeing is Awesome. I'm your host, Alan Chen, and together with me is my cameraman, David Hugh, who's also my camping partner. And today we're in the middle of a lake, and I'll let David show you a little bit of footage about where, uh, of where we are. It's a beautiful Labor Day afternoon. And it just so happens that David has come down with a huge craving for coffee. And it's not just any coffee. He wants Starbucks coffee. And as you just saw, there is no way that we can find ourselves, uh, find our way to a Starbucks franchise anytime soon. So what we're going to do is to make, right here and right now, a fresh pot Starbucks coffee using the Jetboil personal cooking system. The first thing we're going to do is take some water, of which we have plenty, right from the lake itself, about two cups. Then remove the bottom of the cup component. And the next step will involve coupling the cup part to the remainder of the, of the Jetboil system, which comprises the burner and the, the custom fuel canister along with a three-leg stand. So that goes there. Gentle twist. Let out some of the fuel, hit the lighter, and off we go. Now, for you at home, if you can hear that sound, this is the reason why the system is called a jet boil. It sounds pretty much like a jet engine. And the idea is to so efficiently heat up the bottom of the cup that we should be able to get these two cups of water boiling in about two minutes. I'm letting out some more fuel. I can already see the water bubbling. And we're just gonna, in a few minutes, have boiling water. What a beautiful day. Incidentally, we're in Frontenac Provincial Park in Ontario, Canada. A beautiful place. Uh, specifically right in the middle of Birch Lake. This is the third day and final day, unfortunately, of our end of summer Labor Day weekend camping, canoeing, hiking, fishing trip. If you haven't been here yet, again, I'd recommend it highly. We've seen some wonderfully beautiful campsites, some with great views of the lake itself. We've also come into contact with some of the very uh, wildlife forms around here. Today we had some close-up shots of a <laughs> wonderful vulture that was circling overhead. Well, uh, thankfully it left us alone. And before I forget, let's take a closer look at the uh, jet boil system here. David's going to get a close-up shot of the water as it starts to boil. It's clouding over a little bit, but I can see the bubbles rising. And once it starts, I just turn off the fuel and we're ready to go. I can't tell you how handy this personal system has come in for us over the course of the last few days. We've had close to gourmet dinners in no time. So if Dave could just zero in on the camera a little bit as we uh, approach boiling point. Again, about two minutes and uh, of course it'll depend on the weather conditions on the lake at any given, on any given day, but 
two minutes is about right. Now the water is obviously bubbling. I hope you guys can see that. And I will proceed to then turn off the fuel before it overflows. And that's it. Boiling water in the middle of the lake. Now, if we're not finished. You have to make the coffee. And for that, we're going to use the Jetboil Custom Coffee Press. How convenient is that? It's also convenient, of course, that I brought with me Starbucks Italian Roast Coffee Ground. To cure Dave of his caffeine headache once and for all, I am going to scoop not one, not two, and not three, but four heaping tablespoons of coffee grounds. Having done that, very simple, stir the coffee ground into the boiling water or the hot water. And now you just let the coffee sit to taste, depending on how strong you want it. You can sit back, enjoy the scenery again. The sun is setting, it's about 6 p.m. Lake is quiet, placid, beautiful. Not a cloud to be seen in the sky. Love it. It's all good. Now, we're ready to go. Dave doesn't like his coffee especially strong, so we're going to take the press. Put it over the coffee. And just as, just as with any French press, push the screen or the press down. Trap the ground. Take off the cup from the, from the fuel. David's cup. Fresh Starbucks cup. Voila. David? Thank you. Welcome. Enjoy. How is it? It's hot, but um, let me just, one sec. Ah, oh, that's good. It's as good as Starbucks. I feel like I'm at Starbucks. <laughs> Wonderful. I'm going to have a cup myself, but that's it for today. Join us next time on the next episode of Canoeing is Awesome, where we're going to follow up on today and fry up some speckled trout right in the middle of the lake again, this time using the Jetboil group cooking system with a frying pan. How could you miss that? Join us then. I'm your host, Alan Chen. On behalf of my cameraman, David Hugh, and myself, so long and happy canoeing. The Jetboil personal cooking system. What can I say? I love it. It's fast, it's easy to use, and perhaps most importantly, it's the safest cooking system I've ever come across. Now, having said that, for you folks at home, we are certainly not recommending that you actually try what we just did. And we're also not going to be held liable or responsible for anything that should happen if you choose to do so. And lastly, of course, Jetboil itself will certainly not be held liable either. Until next time, enjoy the outdoors.